Hi guys, it's Maria from Sweden here, aka Planner Mother of Three. Today I would like to show you my new social media planner and I love, 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 love how it functions. Um, <clears throat> I have I have bought a, a Wonderland 222 in the B6 size together with a Moterm cover. Uh, that works really well. I think they are in a good companion, these two together. The colors per work perfectly well. Anyway, I have been wanting to have a place where I can do my planning of the social media work that I do, but also logging the statistics uh, around it. I don't have well, if I could dream, I really would like to do this 100% of my time, but uh, that will not be the case as I, my channel is so small. Uh, but still, I love how, how this works and I love doing videos and share everything together with you and the community and everything. So I'm all good where I am. Uh, and um, yeah, so... <clears throat> I saw this video from this, you know what, I'm going to take it out from the planner so we work on the table. First of all, uh, I, I realized, I learned that um, the Instagram account, you want to put one post a day. Uh, and I've been quite, quite uh, inconsistent. If you, I mean, if you follow me, you've seen that so, someday I put like I post like five different posts and then there can go one or two days and there's nothing and then it's one a day and then it goes a whole week without anything and then I got you know all busy and I post like 10 and so forth and that's not there is no um uh constant um content and there is no logic between the different posts so I was asked that if you would like to define some areas where you want to be with your planning uh, and why do you think people will return to your account. And without asking you guys, so I started to think. And um, I was thinking that um, I want or I think that you like the plan with me thing um and that's you know like before pen posts and then there is this after pen and the flip through and then something about the journaling something about me maybe me and my life and um something about uh, my collections and um some setup videos and uh what else haul maybe well i know that you like that and something else. Okay, so here we have eight different areas that I have to think about content. Um, one post, one video, and so forth. And then you have um, the Instagram account. You're supposed to post one post a day. And the uh, YouTube, well, that's up to you, of course. Um, but I'm thinking of having like four, three or four posts a week. I really would like to make content for every day, but, uh, well, I don't have that time. So, okay. If you have like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different, um, areas, and there is something else that I've been thinking about, but I can't really... Sorry, I'll just have to check it out. I have done it here. I will show you everything here. Um, yep, 
yeah 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 ideas i have one that i call ideas and that could be you know any do it yourself or ideas how to do things anyway so we have eight here and what if you have 30 days or 31 days of the month you have to double or triple some of these things so what i've done is that uh, plan with me before pen well there will have like four different posts because you have four weeks and after pen you have four and um the setup well set up for the month um oh yeah we have your flip through also um well there's the flip, flip through sorry so it will be after pen four and then you have like two uh flip throughs because of the month one yeah i have two planners and then i flip through them twice a month so that means that we have four plus four that's eight plus two that's ten and so and then you have to keep going and thinking about how many posts do you want to post for the journaling me and my life ideas whole setup and collection okay so when you've done that you know how many different kind of posts you need to plan for and what i've done is that i have then put all of them in an ordinary this is a 31 month a 31 days month um no matter what month we are in i'm thinking that this is the the setup that i am doing so the first of the month that could be a monday but it could also be whenever well then i start with this and then in the end of the month you do that and then in the end of the week you have your different areas so i think this works really really well the brownish posts here are for instagram and the gray are for the youtube channel and um yeah so as you've been seeing here i have one two three four one two three one two three one two three four and one two three four so four around four posts uh, every week from for the youtube but uh, i have i'm having some technical issues right now so it's kind of stressful when you don't know if this is going to work or not uh, so but i'll that's my aim my goal and then um here i haven't really decided yet what i'm going to do with this uh, but um, this could be I could either log the no and I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do with this that's true here will be some statistics uh, but I'll come back about that and then um, if you want to see how this planner look is and how it functions and the functions and the pages and everything please go to uh, another video that I made you have the link down below in the description box and here are the place where I'm you know put all the things that I want to that I have already recorded but I haven't done any editing of it and here because I have the vision of doing a lot of different videos like for instance I've just made a I haven't really used it I can confess that uh, I have just made a a uh, video about my health planner i did that today um and i haven't edited it yet and also the social media planner so here i can go back and see what i have in my stash if you see what i mean uh, so i don't need to do everything for every day every week and here are different ideas about um what to do for kind of video and here are the my video that i made and uploaded and here are all the different uh, steps that you have to go through but i think well yeah so and this is only for the uh, youtube channel and uh, I have all of the steps somewhere. Uh, I have don't have the list here, but 
here are the places where I log everything that I've done. And that's all from um, uh, recording to editing to doing some, um, put music on and so forth. And then uploading to YouTube and the things that you have to do afterwards. Yeah, so that's about it. But, uh, and then as this one is the the generic one, the one that I don't need to, do you say generic? I don't know. The neutral one, the one that you, that's not uh, made for a special month. I take this and I go into my, my month that, or the week that I am in, and then I do the planning. So for instance here, um, I'm gonna do a after uh, pen uh, picture and um, that's what I've said here and that's what I'm gonna do uh, on Monday. And on Sunday I have a before pen from the day 29th of November to the 5th of uh, December and uh, a video about the plan with me of the same thing. And uh, yeah, so that's the planning. And the good thing is that you don't need to be creative every day. You just go here and you say, okay, today or tomorrow I'm gonna do this, I can do that now. And then I don't need to think about it because it's a creative process to do them, but it can be kind of um, hard or stressful, you know, process to find, find out what you're gonna do. You're not that creative every day. Um, and then you take this, you put it into your specific month. And I started this one on the 22nd. So this is the beginning of this week. And I love how it works. And um, yeah, then here are the different weeks. Uh, I started to log my different posts. And here are the ones that I made for YouTube. And after a couple of days, I go back and I see how many likes did the post get. How many pay, how many have have uh, saved the the post how many comments and how how far did this post reach out and in that way i can get a little bit of a um, you know um, uh, idea of what kind of things that um, people like uh, and for instance here i didn't do as i said because i was not at home i was on the conference place and I didn't have the time to do what I had thought. So I, I marked it out and I put here for later collection A6. And collection A6 can then be an, an idea to do whenever I have some time to do that. So collection A6 covers, that is, yeah. So hmm, I like I like how it worked and um, then um, so here for instance the collection was not what I did I did the set up of weeks everyday carry uh, 2020 I did all or already do another set up. Mm, a pre-setup on Friday and then I did a setup, a final setup here. Yeah, um, and this social media setup is filmed today. So um, we'll see about that, how this will work out. Yeah, so I, I like how it works and how I can work around this. And this is perfect, you know, as I am out traveling and I am sometimes very busy, so I can do my planning ahead and that helps me a lot. And as I said, the days when I don't really have the time to do things, I can just go here and see what I'm planning for. And in that way, I'm not, you know, I don't need to be upset about things that did not go as I planned because uh, I have everything here. Yeah, so that's the um, social media planner set up. I hope you like what you've seen. Uh, if you did, please give me a thumbs up. That would mean a lot for me. Um, 
as I am quite newbie in the social media planning planner system. And if you have any ideas, questions or comments, please comment them, write them down below. And if you want to stay in touch, please subscribe. Take care of yourself and have a nice day. Bye bye.